Hi everyone, it's uh, Sunday evening and it's the 6th of May and uh, happy birthday to my brother, he turns 20 today, or turned 20 today, and he passed his driving test earlier last week, first time too. Nemo's missed me because I've been, been out all day, so that's why he's vocal anyway. So, yeah, I had a bit of a celebration over at Mum's. And, uh, first thing, we, um, went to, um, some yard sales, or garage sales. There's one held in three different villages, actually. All pretty much next door to each other, so. Oh, yeah, also, my brother bought his first car yesterday. <laughs> Unfortunately, it hadn't been used a lot which is the reason the, the guy sold it, but it came with full MOT that he got about a week ago. Um, and it's now taxed, insured, so he's been driving it. He needs to get used to it, because he learned in a diesel. Now, he's actually noticed that there's a lot of pulling power difference between a diesel and a petrol. So um, he's not quite used to it, but he's getting there. Anyway, he actually um, um, he bought me home. Anyway, went to these garage sales at about eight o'clock this eight thirty this morning. They actually started, and uh, I got a big bunch of stuff. I better show you. <laughs> no, I don't think this is going to appeal to everyone, you know, not the Lego anyway. That's what's in here, it's just a box of Lego. That was two pounds for this box. Random box of Lego. And two pounds for that one as well. And I've also got these um model fire trucks. Um and believe it or not Thank you Luna <laughs> Believe it or not, I only paid one pound each for these um, fire vehicles. So um, that one's a Japanese one that I've got in my hand at the minute. So yeah, I've got six of these, so I spent six pounds on those as well. And they're in immaculate condition, not mark on them. Could add a few more, but I didn't really like them a bit too old for what I like, so not the models, models are new, but I mean the trucks they're based on. Anyway, I got this torch as well with those batteries that were in it. I'm pretty certain Everready don't do Silver Seal anymore, so the fact these have not leaked, I think is a testament to that build quality. You know, because they were in here. Why is my. Oh yeah, my phone's in this bag. I wonder where that went off so close. That means I'm being messaged. Right, I'll get to him in a minute. Yes, yeah, so what? Lego. I'm, it looks mostly Lego. I think 99% of it is Lego. I've got a toy forklift in this one. Got that thing that'll probably go in the bin. It's a Bob the Builder thing. I recognise the cat. Anyway, we'll get to this in a minute. This is. The Coupe de Gracie, what's in there. <laughs> the best thing. In here, I've got these phones and the main object in this box from the same seller. Anyway, there's a bunch of um, old Nokia phones. Actually, the only phone that's not Nokia is this NEC. But I couldn't get that one to charge. I don't know if it's a problem with the charger or the phone itself, but this one took a charge. This one took a charge. In fact, they all took a charge. Apart from that one and one of the Nokia's. Um, this one, because I've actually found out the charge socket is broken, that is actually dried glue. Where someone's tried to glue it. When I plug a charger in, it wants to turn on and it wants to charge, but I think because that charger is actually broken, it's not making a good enough connection. Um, but yeah, I've got all these old knockers. I've got another one of these, so I want to take the battery out of one of these and actually try and 
my one so I don't know if it works. I've got three of these, by the way, in this style. One doesn't have a battery, but I took the battery out of the one that did charge and put it in it and it turned on so it worked. But yeah, all of these actually started charging, so I bet if I left them to charge, they would charge. I think. I'm not so sure. These all feel the same way. I don't know which one's got the battery and which one hasn't. Uh, what else we got? We've got some of these old Nokia sliders as well. Sliding out of my hand. I just thought of them and I thought, yeah, why not? I can add a few more to my little drawer collection and put the rest on eBay. I don't know about these ones though, because they look a bit rough. Because uh, people like these old phones. And I have seen what some Nokias actually sell for on eBay, so... I know I can actually, um... Even if I only sold a handful of these on eBay, I know I can actually make a profit, so... That's my phone charge cable. Right. I do believe that is just books, batteries, and the three different chargers. Um, oh, there is another one in there. It's up here. Got a flip phone. You remember when these were all the rage? Flip phones. Then they went to slide phones, and now look what we have. Basically mini tablets, that's what they've reminded me of. <laughs> what these smartphones remind me of, you know, I've got my Samsung Galaxy over there. You can't see S2. That is a remote for the stereo. Anyway. Um That I didn't get, I rescued that. That's my mum's old BT hub. I just kept it as a spare. Because I thought if mine ever shits the bed or mum's ever shits the bed, we've got a spare to at least get us online with. This is a hub four though. My one's a hub five, even though it looks identical. Look. See? <laughs> but I still thought, you know, I've got a spare just in case. So I didn't actually get that, but I got those for a couple of pounds. You're probably thinking, what do you want more of them for? I mean, I've got a big set going around here, got them going around the hallway and the bedroom. Well, I wasn't going to buy these because I thought, well, I've already got them around all the rooms I want them in. But then I thought, I don't have a big set from a tree, so I'm sort of thinking ahead. Because <laughs> um, last year I had three separate sets on my tree. So I just thought, you know, this set would be long enough. I think it's actually going to be far too long. <laughs> It's 8 metres. Oh, no, sorry. 11 metre illuminated length and 8 metres of um, lead cable. But anyway, I got those. I also found a TY Pinkie Pie. She cost me £2. I don't have her in this size. I've got her in the smaller size. But I don't have her in the set. I think this is the 7 inch size. Same with Dashy here. So I grabbed those, because I actually haven't got many in this size. I've got an older Fluttershy down there somewhere. Anyway, going back to this, what else did I get? Some um, Bob the Cat books. Some Buzz controllers for 50p. Um, simply because I've got the game. And I was actually looking at them and he said you can have them for 50p. So I thought, yeah, if you're going to charge me that, I'll have them. I won't get them that price anywhere else. So I've got a set of those to use for the game as well. This box has had it. But here it is. Look at this. It's an Atari 2600 in here. <laughs> With all the controllers, all the number pads as well, all the keypad controllers. Two of those. Two of these. What was that? The quick shot um huge my flip joystick. It was a bit of fluff, I thought the cable was damaged. Yeah. Player one and two. Oh yeah. 
we've got the you know, interconnect cable on this one for player two. Or did you have to flick a switch for player one and two? I can't remember. Um, don't know if it works. It's sort of bought, you know, as seen, so I have no idea if this works. I'm hoping it does. So if we just go in like that, I presume, yep. Yeah. Now this is a very, very, very early games console, but I've got four games. I've got Donkey Kong. I could probably sell these games on, even if the console didn't work. Pac-Man. Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Star Wars. And this one seems to have a bunch of different games. Um, one to five, Tank. Six to nine, Tank Pong. Ten to fourteen, Invisible Tank. I have no idea what the numbers are. Use with joystick controllers. So yeah, four games. The console. Um, seems like it is complete. It's got all cables here. I've got a power. I've got two different power adapters in here. I don't know if both of them are for this or what it is. There seem to be some foam washer things in there. But there you go, I don't know if that's going to come up on the camera. No, it isn't. Um, but it is an Atari 2600. It did say it on there somewhere. Where the bloody hell is it? There it is. CX2600. So. I've always wanted something like this. So even if it doesn't work, I would like to try and fix it. Because there's literally a piece of history there. You know, this is what... Well, this isn't what started the, uh... This isn't what started, you know, the consoles off, because there was some before this. There was, um... The Intellivision in the 70s. I've got no idea of when this was manufactured. It doesn't give me a date on here. I don't think. It's got US patents on it. Lots of. No, don't give me a manufacture date. Could get a clue if I opened it up and had a look on the chips. Okay, yeah, I got two number parts. I've got a funny feeling we have two different adapters here because it's got a different plug on that one. This one, I think, is the one I want. Maybe. <laughs> Let's suck it on the back of this. Oh no, it is. It doesn't tell me what the power supply is. Are both of these the same? 9 volt. What's this one? This one actually looks like... No, it's got Corgi written on it. I didn't know Corgi made such things. It's upside down. Output 9 volt. Oh, well I guess I've got two here. I want to get it hooked up to the TV now, but I'm not going to do it tonight because I'm too friggin' knackered. <laughs> oh, I have got some damage to that joystick wire. That's for player two, anyway. Looks like someone's or something has eaten that. As long as the main one's okay, and I... Oh, no, I haven't. I was going to say I had a joystick. Yeah, I did have a joystick, but I bleed and sold it. But, uh, pick them up cheap enough anyway. And there's the hand controllers for it. Like I said, I'll probably only use one player on this, so that should still work as the one player cable's not damaged. That one's just for two player. Oh. Oh, what a day. Boom, 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 boom. video to do for the Lego channel as well. Pardon me. Oh, I've got a Now 73 CD as well. But I left that mum's because the CD is still on my stepdad's laptop. As that was being used for music via the Bluetooth to a Bluetooth 
speaker, a very large Sony Bluetooth speaker that belongs to my brother. Anyway, I'm, I'm happy with what I got. Weren't really, weren't really much else that I wanted, so. Besides, I want to save some because I've still got to get some groceries and do some posting um, Tuesday, so. been mentioned three times or four times in why I've been tagged in that one. But I'm knackered. All that walking I've done and I'm knackered. Oh! That's what I want to talk about as well. Um, I went over to help a friend of mine last night at his workshop. And that's the best thing about having a, you know, a little workshop unit thing on an industrial estate. You can go there at stupid o'clock at night and make as much noise as you bloody want, more or less. Because where that is, there is no houses close enough that are going to hear, so... Um, yeah, anyway, I went over and gave him a hand in his workshop, because he's got to have a bit of a sort out, gradually. Um, and I've pretty much agreed to buy several items. <laughs> um, the first one is an electric bike. Um, and I'm not going to sell this one, not for sale, because I know a certain someone, Cat's Custom Trikes, which is going to ask, because <laughs> I know her too well. Now, I'm not going to sell that one. As Mum's moving back here to town, I actually thought that would be very good for her to use to just pop to the shop or whatever on if she only needs a couple of bits rather than use the car. Um, so that's what I want that for. Um, two normal bikes. One's a hybrid, so the hybrid I've got here, the Apollo, is going up for sale, and I'll probably uh, probably do that tomorrow. And I might consider selling my Ellswick because I want to buy the um, Rally 3-speed as well. This is off my friend's dad, actually offered 30 quid each and I think they're worth that at least. <coughs> um, and the other thing that I've agreed to buy is a moped. <laughs> um, that won't be for a few weeks yet though. And it's only 50 quid. Um, anyone else that would have been 100 quid. Because it needs work. Um, cause it's been sitting for about four years. So it's probably going to need a new battery and the carb's going to need a good clean out and whatnot. So it's going to need a good service, I think. I haven't had a good look at it because one, I was busy last night and two, it was actually under a cover. So I couldn't see it properly. It doesn't have a V5 logbook with it, so I'm going to have to apply for one. But I, it, I have actually decided that I do want to get on the road with it. Not, I don't want to sell it like I've done with my previous three. Because my god, have I actually regretted doing that. Especially my Honda Vision. My, I think it was an H Reg, which would have been about 1990. Yeah, I think it was a 1990 Honda Vision um, AECC scooter. Really regret selling that. Um, but you know, I needed cash at the time. But anyway, 
I've got this one. It's a 1999, I think, scooter. But it does look complete and all there. I just got to check it over, you know, like the vitals and things, like tyres and brakes and make sure it runs with no blow in the exhaust and whatnot. And make sure, you know, the, the um, headset bearings, well, I suppose the simple terms would be steering bearings aren't shot and whatnot and wheel bearings. Um, yeah, but I can't see it being a huge amount of money to put it right, you know, and put it on the road. And I could actually afford just to run that, you know. And that'll just give me that little bit of freedom. Because at the moment I think I'm feeling a little bit jealous, if I'm honest. I'm the only one out of all four of us, as me and I've got two brothers and a sister, I'm the only one that's not on the road on anything apart from a bicycle. You know, I don't have a moped, I don't have a motorbike. But I've actually decided that once I've started with this scooter that I'd want to save, if I can, hopefully, and actually go for a motorbike license. And actually get a motorbike on the road. No um, sports bikes or anything like that. They're just not for me. I like them to look at and I like to listen to them, you know. But, they're not a bike I would go buy. <laughs> they're just, it's not me. I want a cruiser style bike, you know. Something vintage would be nice, actually. You know, sort of from the 70s and 80s. Like something like that. But, uh, I just thought, you know, start at the bottom of the ladder, so to speak, with a scooter and whatnot, and, uh, you know, work my way up. Nemo, you are really freaking me out doing that. He was just sitting there staring at me while I was rocking like this. Oh, I hate it when he stares. It freaks me out. Hang on a minute, Nemo. Someone has just messaged me on Facebook. Who has messaged me? message him again because I don't think he's got a lot of phone battery left so <sighs> get out of the fucking way cat I'm trying to type and he's in the way damn and I said the f word oh well Shit happens. Oh, I said the S word as well. Just rephrase that actually. We'll be awake till late. I've got a friend that wants to come over, but uh, he's currently up the hospital with a friend. I don't know what his friend has done, but he's taking his friend to the hospital. <laughs> Um, so I just said I'm going to be awake till late. Ever, yeah, oh shit. Back, not back. I can type better on my bloody phone, I swear I can. There we go. Put a little smiley face, because I like doing a smiley face. <laughs> I'm on the cannon because I wanted to get all this done and I didn't want to leave that till late because I've got other things to do. So this is, this is an advantage about having two different cameras. The other one is charging and uh, I can just pick this up and you know it's just an easy camera to pick up and vlog with so I know the um, sound quality is not as good and the picture quality is not as good as the other one but 
it's definitely not the worst. I have used worse. Far worse. 54 notifications. Bloody walls. <laughs> On YouTube, that is. I'm actually hot in here. We've had a lovely day as well. Even Luna agrees. We've had a lovely day. <laughs> Let's check my emails while I'm sitting here. I know I missed messages on Discord because I haven't bloody been on there today. I haven't had the time. Yeesh. I've been awake since six. Went to bed at two. <laughs> there wouldn't have been no point in me going to bed any earlier than that because I wasn't tired. I am hungry though, but... I don't know what to get. I don't really want a takeaway because I'm not that hungry. Um, and get this. I ate bread at Mum's. My guts have been fine. So what the heck is it that keeps upsetting my tummy? You know, two um, burgers and a hot dog is what I had. I don't seem to have the appetite like I used to have. Or the, um, what is it, the metabolism? Because I used to be able to pack away at least four. You know, two hot dogs, two burgers. Or four burgers or whatever I fancied. I can't do that now. <laughs> you know? And I still, I'm still trying to adjust my portion sizes. Because I waste food, basically. You know, I just can't pack away the amount I used to. No idea why. I don't know if it's anything to do with diabetes or... Plus, losing, you know, metabolism as I get older. I don't know. I've just got a weird body. Body that likes to do what it wants, when it wants. <laughs> anyway, yeah. As soon as I've got the moped, like I said, it's going to be a few weeks yet. Because one, I'm not going to have the money for a few weeks. Because that will have to come on my payday this week the following one, so it's going to be at least three weeks, at least. Um, I really can't leave it any longer than that, because my friend is trying to get room in his workshop. Because, long story short, his dad is having to give up his workshop, you know, due to lack of funds to pay the rent and whatnot. So, you know, him and my friend have agreed to share this one workshop, so they're going half on the rent and whatnot. So, need room. <laughs> Stuff has to go. I've still got a couple of items to pick up that we forgot to throw on the van last night. I've got another mountain bike from him. Another free one. He's now missing a chain because he needed that to fix another bike for his sister. And the rear shock was needed to fix another bike. But that doesn't matter, I've got a bike down at Mum's new house that I can steal the shock off of anyway, if I can get it off. If not, I'm sure I'll come across a shock from somewhere. I actually think I've got one somewhere, to be honest. No, I don't think. I know. <laughs> I've just realised I have actually got one here. Because I took it off to give to him to fix his other bike and totally forgot about it, till now. off you stupid thing. Yeah, so there will be a video about that Atari. I might, because I don't think I'm going to be able to resist it, actually test it in the meantime to see if it does work. And then I will do a video, you know, because you guys won't know. And I think it'll be nice just to show you whether it actually turns on or not. There isn't really a lot in those that can go wrong, so... But all it said on the box was um, Vintage Project. Was it vintage or was it retro? No, it doesn't matter. <coughs> My ears just popped. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here, I think. So... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. 
and if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I'll talk to you all again in the next video bye